back in the 1920s, some skiing was very, very primitive. In those days, there were only two or three hundred people in the whole of Australia who went up there. The fun for me was coming to a new country where skiing was very much in its infancy. My first impression of Australian snow, which was still falling, was very wet and sticky. In 1952, he organized and built this structure named Telemark. It was the second ski lodge at Perisher. Ernest Scatterassi came out from Austria and taught us the Alberg technique of skiing. Back in the 20s, cross-country skiing was our only method. We used cross-country skis for everything. And the only way to ski downhill was to ski uphill. The Yanks of the First World War started their first participating in the sport in Switzerland, or French Switzerland, and of course they adopted the word skiing. The derivation of the word means if a piece of timber or a stick passes through snow, it makes a sheen sound. The early pioneers, laden with packs, climbed unaided. They sought the exhilaration and effort of trekking to the vast open rangelands on the roof of Australia. Mm -hmm. 